It's after midnight. The streets are empty. The city is sleeping. Well, not quite. Across from the airport, the Columbus Produce Terminal is starting to come alive. From farms across Ohio, the fresh produce begins pouring in. And after a brief stop at the terminal, it's on the move again. Eventual destination, your refrigerator. For the produce, the journey begins here, rural Ohio, at places like Michael Farms. Uh, I'm Todd Michael, and um, here at Michael Farms, we grow sweet corn, green beans, cabbage, and potatoes. The farm's located in Urbana, Ohio, Champaign County. It's uh, about 2,400 acres. We employ about 120 people, um, consisting of about 30 families. It's a lot of pleasure providing you know, employment for that many people. I've been farming probably about as long as uh, I've been walking. I was in the field driving tractors at nine, so you can't do that these days, but uh, it's been in my blood my whole life. But one of the best things I like about working here is that every day is a new challenge, and it's pretty satisfying um, knowing that you're growing food for people to eat. Uh, once the vegetables are harvested, then we take them into our central packing shed, which is located in the center of our farm. And we'll wash it, uh, cool it, count it, package it, grate it, whatever that particular one needs, um, and get it ready to ship out uh, that night. Everybody likes the freshest food they can get, and our produce is delivered during the night, the day it's harvested. So it's on the grocery shelves in less than 24 hours. When our trucks uh, head out during the middle of the night, they'll go to the different terminal markets and grocery distribution points. Columbus Terminal is uh, one of the places that we deliver. If you've never been to the Columbus Produce Terminal, it's kind of like a beehive. Everybody comes in and they've got their job to do and they're all getting it done in the middle of the night under lights. So, uh, so they can go home, get, get some sleep, and come in the next night. It certainly is never a dull moment. It's a matter of just moving product, and that's the important thing is, especially because of the perishable product that we carry. You know, you want to move it, move it fast. Well, the grocery stores want it in their, in their stores so they can sell it to that fresh, you know? The fresher, the better. Well, we generally open up around midnight. The first uh, crew comes in, uh, Frank, the owner, and a couple of the guys start receiving, unloading trucks and getting things set up for when the buyers, uh, customers start coming in. And then we're used to here till at least 2 o'clock in the afternoon. My grandpa started the business just doing bananas. His name was Frank Macaluso, and he had to support his mother and uh, I think seven kids. He when, his dad died when he was 12, so he quit school and took over his father's business of bananas, right mean bananas. My grandpa brought me down when I was eight, so uh, i am uh, been here almost 50 years. My dad's a very hard worker. He's uh, one of the hardest workers I know, you know. He's a great role model in the way he works, the hours that he puts in. Not many people can do what he does. I'm just used to it, I guess. <laughs> Nothing else I can do. One thing about being uh, with my dad is, is the hours that he works, I have to work the same hours, you know, 12, 13 hour days, seven days a week. Well, you get used to it over the years. I've been here six years, but I've been in the produce industry for about 30 years now, so it's just the nature of the business. The business is about speed. The produce moves quickly, but when it leaves the terminal, where does it go? Markets, uh, grocery stores, restaurants, just about any place you find food. It eventually winds up just about everywhere. Uh, Giant Eagles, they do all Ohio-grown stuff, special place in their store, so they get all that here. Corn, uh, tomatoes, zucchini, uh, yellow scores, eggplant, beans, anything that's grown in Ohio, they'll buy it. And I think the consumer likes that, you know to see something grown from Ohio, and they buy it. 
On summer nights at the terminal, you take a deep breath and relax when you can, because the opportunity doesn't come often. We'll get a rush and we'll be running around like madmen again. It gets so crazy that you sometimes lose track of where you're even at. And then after it's all over, you just kind of regroup and go back to start all over again. Out on the farms, the day is done. The crops are in. Another hard day's work is over. Here, they're just getting started. While the world sleeps, the trucks roll, and the dock comes alive. And the food, it never stops moving on its way to your town, your grocery, your refrigerator. While the city sleeps, this world is alive. This world never stops. It just keeps turning.